girl, Rini. Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. So in this video, you're going to see me do a setup using two backdrops. I'm using this gold frame and I'm also going to be using a plain white Chiara backdrop. Both of these um, frames and backdrops are seven feet tall and this frame that you're seeing me build here, I did get it from Amazon. Uh, the poster stand that I'm adjusting here, I also purchased it, purchased it off of Amazon and this is a foam installation board. I know it looks really, really rough right now. I still have some old wallpaper on it, but not to worry. I'm going to throw a backdrop cover over it. Just trust the process. All right. Okay. So you're going to see me apply some clear tape to the back of this. Um, do not use clear tape. Okay. It is not strong enough. I highly recommend using a stronger tape such as high quality duct tape. That's what I normally use, but I ran out, so we're just going to have to work with what I got. Um, you're going to see me add like two strips. I took off two strips of old um, duct tape from the front, and I applied it to the... Oh, you know, you're not going to see it. I lied. Okay. So you're. <laughs> I did apply two old pieces of duct tape, though. That was like really, really good. St still sticking, okay? I'm using a backdrop cover. This backdrop cover you would normally use over like um, like that frame the gold frame that I have in the back but honey you can throw that over anything you can throw it over your wood backdrop you can throw it over your as you can see I'm doing my foam whatever you want to use it for okay <laughs> no limits all right so I'm going to be using three wonderful colors in this setup so what you see me doing here is just placing some bases that I made just kind of placing them figuring out how I want to start this off So once I'm kind of satisfied with how I've placed it, you know, I see the vision coming in. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and um, secure the garland. So I'm going to take these two bottom balloons here and just twist it around the stand. And that should keep it nice and secure. I'm going to add this blue, the dark blue here. As you can see, that big gap between that mint green well, it's pastel matte green and pastel matte blue just so it, it can close. I just added another cluster of dark blue. And I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did at the bottom. Take two balloons and just twist it around the pole. And once again, like that should be very secure. If you're not feeling certain, go ahead, grab a 260 and tie it down. Here I'm using a spring clamp. This is what I'm going to use to attach the garland to the Chiara. A spring clamp with a 260Q. You saw that it's kind of looped. I tied it and looped it. And I'm going to use that loop to secure it by wrapping it around two balloons. I find when you wrap it around two balloons, it hugs the board a little more snug. See here, I'm kind of showing you that I'm using two balloons instead of one. It just hugs it a little more snug. It's not hanging like all loose. Now, each time you see me add something, I'm going to step back and I'm going to check out the work and make sure that this is going in the right direction. So I felt like that piece at the top was too long. I didn't like how how much it was hanging there. So I cut that cluster off and I was feeling the shape a little bit more better. So now that I like the way that's going, I'm going to start adding some more clusters and shaping this garland to my liking now a lot of the times a lot of the times i see people do like this hollow arch thing it's always like this giant blob of balloons like this sh there's no shape it's just a big giant blob of balloons and i wanted to stay away from that i wanted this to look a little bit more shaped like i shaped it with purpose <laughs> type of thing i didn't want it to just be a big round blob of balloons i wanted it to look a little more i don't know artistic i guess so i'm adding some clusters 
and I'm trying to do it in a way where I don't get that blob once again. Colors. I did not mention the colors yet. So three colors that I'm using, all from three different brands. The dark blue is standard dark blue from Callison. That light blue is pastel matte blue from Simpertex. And the green is pastel matte green from Decomex. And I'm using, as usual, <laughs> 18 inch, 12 inch, or 11, and 5 inches. So right here you see that I've decided to add a little, um, a little cluster of balloons, or two rather, a cluster of balloons on the side here. So that's what you see me doing, adding it once again with the spring clamp and the 260Q. And then I'm also going, you're going to see me add some 18 inches just to give it some more body, you know? And I'm tying mine by the necks. If you're having trouble tying these bigger size balloons, because those necks are a little more difficult to tie, you can add it with like an elastic band or another 260Q balloon. Because though the bigger the balloon, the stiffer those necks get and it's harder to, to tie. Oh, baby. <laughs> All right, so I'm adding some O, not some O. <laughs> I'm adding an O baby sign. I purchased this off of Amazon as well. Now this sign came with these little stickies. Let me tell you, these little sticky things are very, very strong. They're actually really, really good. If I didn't have these, um, I would have just used fishing line to attach it. But I said, you know what, let me give it a little try. Let me just use these. And they were actually really strong. I actually wish that, <laughs> yeah, they were actually pretty good. I might have to look for them because they, they were actually really good. So now I'm continuing to add um, to my clusters. Now you see I'm kind of just like pushing it in, playing with it, trying to figure out this shape. Because once again, I'm trying to avoid like that round blob or even like that Christmas tree of balloons, that kind of look. So I'm kind of just placing my clusters temporarily, trying to figure out where I want to go with this. And then when I'm satisfied with the placement, I'll go ahead and tie tie the necks to, of the balloons, tie it in or wrap it around or secure it down. Now, I'm one of those people who likes to see the bottom of the garland kind of spread. So you're going to see me add a cluster here just to widen the bottom and kind of spread it out nicely. Um, some people call it a skirt. I definitely like the bottom of the garland to be heavy, heavier than the top. also hate seeing like big gaps at the bottom or like when the balloons are not sitting on the floor you see my hand here I was showing that gap so I'm trying to add clusters to fill in those gaps at the bottom so the balloons look like they're all sitting on the ground rather than it kind of floating on top of the ground if you're having trouble with this um, or you don't have enough balloons, say you don't have enough balloons to fill the bottom, you can also use some form of weight to hold down the balloon so it sits on the floor instead of floating up. So something to help weigh it down. Like I've seen people tie like a water bottle. You can make a water weight also with a balloon. So that's what you fill it. You fill up a balloon 
with water and then you tie it down to the bottom just to give it a weight so it's sitting on the ground so that's another option as well those types of techniques are also good for like outdoor setups just to make sure like if it's windy it's not blowing away your balloon garland's not lifting up yeah so that's a nice little technique that you can use <laughs> So you've just seen me add the other half of the sign to the backdrop and now I am pretty much satisfied. I'm pretty much done with the whole shaping of the garland. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some detail with these five inch fillers. All right. Now you've seen this technique probably a thousand times. I make my fillers using five inch. I make them into quads and I use an elastic band to attach it throw those suckers on my arm and I just run through the garland really quickly placing them wherever I see fit filling it in making it look nice making it pop you know So right here I noticed that there was only like one random dark blue balloon sticking out here and I wasn't feeling that so I had to go in and kind of force the dark blue dark blue balloons that were kind of sitting behind the garland kind of force them up front just so it shows because it looked weird with that one balloon showing also I ran out of five inch pastel matte blue so luckily I had some 12 inches so what I did is I deflated them and I used them to create my mini clusters. So you just deflate them down, make sure they're squishy, tie them up. You're going to use one, kind of separate it in half and twist it. Oh my gosh, I hope I'm explaining this great. Right. Anyways, you see what I'm doing. <laughs> and with the other balloon the same thing try to do it even as even as you can it's okay if it's not even it, that creates a look in itself as well twist it and then t twist the two separate balloons into one another so that it's secure lord <laughs> these things are actually harder to explain luckily you see what exactly what i'm doing so you know what i'm saying okay <laughs> So I'm adding more balloons to the bottom. Like I said, I need that bottom of my garland to look a little more full, a little more heavy. And if I see gaps, honey, I'm going to fill those suckers in. <laughs> Again, just making a little more um, of those, a few more of those mini clusters because I am all out of five inches. This time I'm making it separate because I already have a dupe of five inches left. So I'm just adding this um this 12 inch to create the quad and that's pretty much it here it is i love this setup i think the colors are super cute zooming in here on the old baby sign it is made out of wood a nice light wood and i'm showing here that it's quite sturdy it's not going anywhere you can paint these. I decided to leave it so it kind of gives that nude that nude look. Beautiful. I love how the shape came out. I love that it's not just like a round blob. I love that there's little pieces sticking out. You know, beautiful. Let me know how you feel. Are you digging it? Are you feeling it? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Like, let me know in the comments how you feel about this setup. Did you learn anything? Is there something that I could have done better? I'm all ears. Well, all eyes because I got to read the comments. Anyways, thank you so much for watching another video. Um, I look forward to creating the next one for you guys. And once again, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, see you in the next one.